thank you for tuning in. It's been a while. I've been very busy, me and the family, enjoying settling in with our move here to Florida from New York State. And God, there is a million little differences about living in Florida compared to New York. I mean, you're moving from a, I think, what is it called, a purple state or a red state? To, you know, from New York, which is a crazy democratic state. So, they don't... I felt like when I was in New York, I was nitpicked on everything. Like, uh, I didn't realize that until I moved to Florida. I noticed all the things that... <laughs> little things that you're allowed to do that nobody cares about. Like, uh, parking on the wrong side of the street. Or, uh, parking on your grass. You know, in New York, you'd get a ticket for that. Blocking a sidewalk or parking the wrong way on the other side of the street. you get a ticket. Here, nobody cares. You just park wherever you want. Mind you, and if you're watching this, and if you are, you're probably from the north. You're probably freezing your butt off right now. It is February 28th, 2021. I was at Siesta Key Beach today. It's an hour and a half drive from my house here in Hillsborough County near Tampa, Florida. So I got a little burned on my forehead. <laughs> But just think about that. Let that settle in. February 28th, and I am here in flip-flops walking my dog in the park. It is such a good feeling. It's so peaceful and relaxing out here. If you are thinking of making the move to Florida, the only advice I have to you is to make up your mind. Know that this is what you want because you're gonna hit some. You're gonna hit some pitfalls. I'm telling you. It was hard for us. Um, when we moved here, we didn't have a house yet. We moved here, but we knew we were going to find one. But when we moved here, it was hard. The market is crazy down here. Okay? We've been outbidded on 10 houses. One house, we bid $25,000 over asking and still lost it. So the market is crazy. So get your ducks in order. All right? Know that this is what you want. You want to change the scenery. I think everybody should move to Florida or California or wherever, Arizona, at least once in their life so they can see just what it's like. It's amazing. I'm gonna take you to a quick video of the sunken gardens that we went to. It's in St. Petersburg, a really cool botanical garden. Uh, it was just so peaceful and tropical and it was really good. So watch this clip here. What are you doing, bird? Hi, bird. Ah! <laughs> can you see it? Hi, bird. Hi, bird. Hi, bird. Say hello. How you doing? Oh no! Oh, don't put your fingers in there. What is this called? Sunken Gardens. It's really nice. Oh, don't put your hand in there. This is very dense tropical forest. I wish my backyard looked like this. <laughs> Dad, I will really return for mermaids. That is. Whew. I get so oily and sweaty with that mask on. Yeah. Put this in our yard instead. It'll always be nice and green and trimmed. I know. It's like a golf course. Oh, you should build a patio in here with those colors. Yeah. No, Liam, you're gonna get wet. I want you to get a picture of me on that bridge, you said. Okay, right now I'm trying to make sure. Is there any 
Like, don't get oh, fish! Ooh. Whoa, there's some big old fish. I get big old fish. <laughs> don't fall in. <laughs> don't swim in like real close. So you can get all this. Liam, Evelyn. Evelyn, look. <gasps> uh oh. Liam. Do you like sunken gardens, honey? Very nice. It's pretty. That one's gonna fall right in there with those things. <gasps> I can! Wow. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the sunken gardens in St. Petersburg, but those are just one of the many hidden gems that are around in Florida that tourists probably don't even really know about. So you're gonna stumble upon all these things, you know, when you move down here. Um, it's so peaceful <laughs> it really is it was a lot of work but it's great out here another thing uh <laughs> be prepared to gain some weights when you move down here uh because if you're from a smaller city you know obviously i'm from buffalo new york so it's a decent sized city but we didn't have all the food chains. Like, there's just different food chains here. There's Bahama Breeze that we didn't have that in, in Buffalo. There's a, a drive through Panda Express, which we didn't have. Um, there's uh, uh, steak and shakes all over this place. There's Chick-fil-A's all over this place. And there's your local places that everybody tells you you have to eat. There's Mexican restaurants galore up here. Um, so you're gonna wanna try all those. So. It's going to be hard. Um, I've definitely gained some weight, so i got to calm down now. Now that I've been here for about a month or two, got to start slowing down with the eating because i got to get this beach body back in shape here. But yeah, subscribe, like, comment. Um, I'm going to try to put up some more videos, but it is hard. I've just been so busy enjoying Florida and doing all the things. I mean, it's been costly. But we've been to Busch Gardens. We've been, we've been everywhere. <laughs> Minus Disney. We haven't been to Disney because it's... Just don't want to wear a mask in Disney because uh, it is hot. So putting a mask on outside is just baffling to me. But, uh, yeah, everything is good. Like, subscribe, comment down below. And I'll make a video uh, soon um, about our next adventure. Uh, I should have done a video today about Siesta Key, but I was just really enjoying it. It was perfect weather. Uh, I will make another video soon comment like subscribe or comment like give me an idea on a video to make and chances are i'll make it all right see you later